Hello everyone and welcome to my tutorial on importing custom videos into Fallout New Vegas. Now the first thing I'm going to say before I start this tutorial is I'm recovering from the flu. Well, man flu. <laughs> so uh, please excuse any sniffs or coughs. Okay, the first thing I'm going to go over is uh, the tools you're going to be using. It's going to be Movie Maker, Rad Video Tools and the Gek of course. The first thing you need to do is open up Movie Maker and you're going to select the video that you want to import into Fallout New Vegas. So mine's just a 9 second clip. So when you've finished uh, finish your clip, you go to Save Movie or Computer. I'm going to save this to the desktop and I'm going to change it from an MPEG because I've never been able to get MPEGs to work this way and save it as a WMV file. I'm gonna call this video custom vid and save it to the desktop. Now that that's done, just close Movie Maker. You need to open Rad Video Tools. Now select the video that you've just uh, saved as a WMV, and at the bottom left of the screen, it says Bing It. You just click that button. And the only thing you need to change here is the output file info. Leave everything as normal, unless you want to experiment. Press Browse. I'm going to go to my Fallout New Vegas directory, and in the video, um, so it will be Fallout New Vegas data video. I'm going to create a custom folder. Custom, and I'm going to save it as custom vid, and it will automatically put dot bic on the end of uh, the file as an extension. So just save it in there, and press bink right here where the mouse is. I'm just going to pause the video and uh, skip to the end of this compression. Okay, so I'm back again. So once the compression is done, just press done and then close and you're going to open up the GEC. I've already loaded my file up here, so um, I'm going to go to World Space, Wasteland New Vegas. And Good Springs Cemetery. I'm going to load this up, but first I'm going to pause the video because uh, it could crash. So, just be with you in a second. Okay, I'm back. So, I've loaded it up. I've went to Good Springs from the cemetery. And so, in between the Good Springs General Store and Prospector Saloon. Um, hold on, that's a box I just had there earlier. Right, in between the alleyway. Gonna click the very top here, it's a little box with a T on it. That's a cubic activator, just click that. And on the render window, you need to click and drag, let go, and bring it up, resize it however you want, and then click again. So I'm gonna give this a custom name, so I'm gonna click new, and I'm gonna call it custom big. You, you can have any ID you want. Name doesn't matter because you won't see it in game. Script will come to in just a second, so just press OK for now. Save. So double click it again. Pr on the primitive tab, make sure that it's not actor zone, it's drop down on trigger. Okay, and I just like saving because the GEC sometimes shuts down frequently. So edit base and I'm going to make a script, script new, script type has to be object for this to work on this particular method. Okay, so I'm going to make the script now, I'm going to put it in the video description so you can copy and paste it and change it so it works for your directory. Um, if not, just uh, keep an eye on what I'm doing. Let's do Big video 
I'm going to declare variable do once. Begin on trigger enter. Play it. If do once equals zero, I'm going to play a bink space quotation marks. Now, this will be different for you. This is where you saved your video. So I'll just give you an example. And I'll just go to my Fallout New Vegas directory. Okay, so where it says video, I made a custom folder called custom and the file is actually inside there. If you just put it in the this folder, the video folder, like uh, FNV intro there, you just put FNV intro dot big. Okay, so I've put it in a custom folder. So I put custom backslash custom vid dot big. I'm just going to make sure that is right. Yeah, it is. Okay, and end the quotation marks. Now you can leave it as default settings, or if you just want to go a bit more advanced, you can just press space, one, 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 one. Okay, the first one represents, uh, is the video interruptible? One means you can interrupt it by pressing the escape key. If it's zero, then it's not interruptible. The second one means mute audio, that's like the world sounds, so gunshots, whatever. If it's one, they'll be muted. If not, etc. The third one is music. That'll pause the music. Bit pretty basic. And the last one is letterbox. That means one is full screen video. If it's zero, then you, your video will be played in the middle of the screen and it'll probably be in a different aspect ratio. So you can experiment with, with those. But I'm just going to leave it as default for now. And I'm going to set do once to one. And if and end. So you need to save that script. Custom big video is what I've just saved it as. So you need to save your progress in the GEC, otherwise it won't pick up your script. Double click your you activate her again, press edit base, and on script, click on that, custom, big video. So now you press OK, OK, save it. So you can just uh, shut the gec now. And I'm going to uh, pause this video, and the next video you'll see is me in the game. Okay, so I'm back and in game. So just before you uh, you launch the game, just make sure that uh, your file is ticked in the uh, New Vegas Mod Manager or whatever program you're using. Okay, so in between Good Springs General Store and Prospector Saloon, trigger should be around there. So I'm just gonna uh, explain something just before I go in. This is just a uh, default settings on the BIC. Um, so after the play bink, I haven't put one or zero. So this is just normal settings. As soon as you walk in, Here you can see it's not full screen by default, and you can't skip it. But everything else is muted apart from the audio of the actual video. So, yep, that's uh, that's how you get it working in game. So, if you um, imagine what you can do with it, you can you can have a you can integrate it into your own quest mods. Could be interesting. Um, but never mind. I hope you have enjoyed the video. or found it useful. Um, so, yep, thanks. Thanks for watching.